Alright guys, I wanted to show you this um, new British gas mask from World War II. Um, this is also the kind of gas mask that Sid Wilson uh, used to wear and um, from Slipknot. And um, this is actually, I got it, um, I didn't get it offline, I got it actually at a uh, military machine gun show in Kentucky, in Knob Creek, and it was a whole lot of fun, and I was walking through some of the vendors that have a lot of army surplus and uh, stuff like that out there, and I came across this, and it was just really cool, so I went ahead and got it. He, The guy who was there had it for $40, and I got him to sell it to me for 30 so that was nice. Um, filter, the mouth is in good shape. Uh, this is in good shape. You can actually show you guys. You can uh, hold on a second. You can take this and remove it, but it's not wanting to come off right now for some reason. Um, yeah, there we go. This actually came in the uh, carrying bag as a separate piece to the mask. So it actually, whenever I got it, it was like this, and I found this in the carrying bag and put it on as because it's an adapter for the um, for the air filter, the charcoal filter that they have in it. Um, it's probably not a good idea to wear the charcoal filter with this though, because it. I believe that since it's such an old mask from the 40s from World War II, they actually have asbestos in it, which is obviously bad for you. So I'm not going to be wearing the filter with this one. I actually have a Israeli gas mask, and I believe it's an M16 civilian gas mask over there on the wall, if you can see it. And it's filter fits perfectly on this, they're the same size, <coughs> and I'll show you the bag and the filter that this guy came with. It's up here in my closet, I have a bunch of army surplus stuff, uh, a couple of ammo boxes, sleeping bag, um, yeah, anyway, grenade, and chucks, um, this is the bag came in. Which is pretty cool that it actually came with its own bag. And uh, it has written in here something, I'll probably pronounce it wrong, and it's probably not even in English, but for me it, it looks like it says light G and S uh, 6 out of 43 or 6143. It has a stamp that says CF. And here's the canister that it came with. And uh, obviously it screws, the cap screws off there. It's got this string that runs down to the plug on the bottom. And, yep, so that's the back came in. And, uh, yeah, like I was saying, these two canisters have the same, the same size. Um, at least the threads are. So they, it, this this will fit on the Israeli, and the Israeli filter will fil fit on my British gas mask. So that's a cool little um, thing that I can have there. And yep. So I just want to show you guys this new uh, Sid Wilson slash British World War II gas mask. I think it's really cool either way you look at it as a war artifact which is really kind of the purpose that I got it for because I'm not really into slipknot mask collecting but I mean it's really cool because it can serve two of those purposes um, so because I, I really like old war artifacts I have a lot more in my basement than I do up here in my room but um, yeah it's very cool to have this kind of part of history here and yep anyway so that's it and I'll see you guys later